Well, I'd rather be with you than sitting in the car by myself, you know? <laughs> okay. Well, let me figure out how to get this damn camera to actually have the flash on at the same time, and then you can have that. I need to get out. Hurry. That's enough. Is that me right? <laughs> I think it's perfectly fine. You think so? I think. You're lying. You have some kind of feeling you need to tell me. Exactly. You're just trying to calm me down. You know something's fucked up. That's something is fucked up, but I didn't want to say that. Yeah, because I know I can read you like a book. <sighs> did you hear how clear that was? Yes, I did. Okay, we're at this place called Chaintown, son of a bitch, Chaintown Road. And the story goes that a chain gang from one of the prisons came out here to do some work. And I don't know if it's they came out here to do some work, like actually had to do work, or if they came out here to do work and the guards just hung them for no reason. But either way, the poor guys got hung. And now this place is obviously haunted, so. Oh yeah, that's no joke. It we is. literally were here, got out of the car for not even, not even 45 seconds, and we heard something running up on us, and we heard get out, and we heard a couple other things, but we heard only it. heard them on the, the EVP. EVP, so. It's a little creepy, so. I'm gonna get back out, and I'm gonna see what the deal is. Just because I've been waiting to come here for like two months and I'm not just I'm not gonna let something just scare me off. Like that. I'm not gonna leave you. Why the hell would I leave you? No, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna be alone. I have feelings too. I'm quite clairvoyant, I guess. As soon as I stepped out of the car, I felt something fucking weird. Yeah. Bastard. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, here. Take this. Here's the light. I can't see shit no matter what. There you go. Alrighty. Alright, guys. Oh, yeah, you're feeling sick to your stomach, right? A little bit. Okay. Yeah, we're only gone a couple feet away from the car. Right there's the car, obviously. Oh, now let that fucking light on again. Yeah, just just stay beside me. You're fine. This is me making noise on the car. Oh, my uh, EMF meter. <laughs> you guys can't really see it all that well. Can you shine that light up there? There is a train bridge right there, like a train trussle. Can't really tell, because obviously it's dark. And 
I don't have, oh, sorry, I don't have enough light with this. So, here's the car, my little flashlight's on top of the car, you can't even tell. Alright. <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna get in the gravel right here. Gotcha. <laughs> Just let me have my arm. You can. I'm not leaving. Okay. This device in my left hand. Can you tell us what happened to you, please? I heard the stories about what happened to you guys. I think it's absolutely messed up. Nobody should have to... You going in the car? <laughs> She's absolutely terrified. You alright? What happened? Like I was saying, nobody should have to deal with a death like you guys did. I think it's absolutely messed up no matter what you did. Oh, I just missed it. Yeah, there's a shooting star. That was me, I'm kicking rocks around. Don't fuck it, dude. I'm sorry, let me let me see that flashlight. Oh, God. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. No, not that flashlight, the yeah. Thank you. Almost. Almost. Going to restart this. Saving. Okay. What you doing? I kept hearing stuff down here. Obviously a little river or a little creek is obviously good for conducting energies. Obviously. There we go. I can see a little bit better like that. Again, guys, we are at a place called uh, Chain Town Road. Uh, these guys, these poor Four gentlemen were brought out here and unfortunately after they got done working on whatever they were working on, legend goes that they were executed by hanging. Which is absolutely messed up. Again, 
nobody, and I mean absolutely nobody, should have to go through something like that. You're already doing your time for whatever you did or didn't do, and then they have to be assholes and do that to you for no reason. It's unfortunate and it's absolutely jacked up could you could you speak into this device I have a flashlight in my left hand but I also have what is called a digital recorder you can speak into it and I will be able to will be able to hear you Ashley's in the car she's scared poor girl's terrified whoops Hopefully I didn't stop that. Wait, what? Alright, we'll go. We'll go. Alright guys. Unfortunately, Ashley's terrified. So, I'm at least going to get in the car. At least. Sorry, I'm filming the sky right now because... I actually seen a shooting star a couple minutes ago, <clears throat> but I'm probably going to be back Saturday with another friend of mine, so I will see you Saturday as long as I can we come out you are not nobody is allowed to follow us I repeat nobody is allowed to follow us you must stay here you must stay here Oh 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Really? Alright. Real quick. Real quick, I wanna see if I can get the uh, train bridge on, on camera. Well, cars on. Still can't really see it all that well. But the train bridge is right there. Like I said, you still can't see it all that well, but it is right there, so. Alright, like I said, you are not allowed to follow us. And I will hopefully, as long as everything goes as well as planned, see you on Saturday. Because I think this place is absolutely cool as hell. Creepy as fuck. I was barely... I was barely here... It instantly got instantly got activity. So all right. I'm out of here. We're not allowed to follow us. Oh, why? I think it's out here in the river. Well, I think... Yeah, there's somebody down there fucking yelling. Is there? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. Huh? That was cool, Oh, it's definitely eerie. It is absolutely eerie out here. No, you can I don't know if it's actually a person or um I don't know, like I said, I don't know if it's a person off in the distance or if it is, uh, would you wait?
There's a little bit of a better look of the train bridge. It's creepy, guys. Very creepy. But, alright. We're gonna leave, and at least... I don't know if we're actually gonna go home or we're gonna find someplace else so I can scare the crap out of her tonight. So I'll talk to y'all later.